Hi everybody, it's Nancy here, and I got a rack. Okay, bear with me. I have this little tiny new tripod because my big one broke. And my old camera because the new one didn't have sound for some reason. So uh, I wanted to show you my rack, which was totally unnecessary, Laura, but very appreciated. And I love it so much. I've already did one video and it didn't come out so I had to reshoot so I have to do it again and I hope this is not too close you are, you guys let me know okay okay she sent me this gorgeous little card look at that and she sent me a sweet message in here which uh, I already read look at that with the glittery Ah, oh, I love it so thank you thank you so much I love it, Laura. There we go. All right. She sent me these stars, which I'm going to put on some Tilda. Because her and uh, Elise Roy, they started the Tilda craze. And for that alone, I love them. Because they make the gorgeous, gorgeous Tilda. Let me get look at this little cutout. I don't know if she cut that out herself or bought it, but it's gorgeous. And they're all going in on my tree in the living room after I put some Tilda stuff on there. And this little star, not star, snowflake. This is a star. Look at that, how pretty. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And she sent me the most beautiful effect. Well, first she made this tag, which is so going on my tree. Gosh, I think I'm too close, but I can't do it any other way right now. You see how pretty that is? Maybe is this better if I go like this? Is that better? Look how pretty. And this is really chunky glitter. I love it. I love it. So this one. And look at this ephemera, which I got to remember to do this because I never matte mine. Look, she matted it on uh, uh, glitter paper. How cute is that? Little Santa Claus in a vintage car. Oh, love this one with the birdies and the red glitter. Very festive. And this one with the silver glitter. So, so pretty. Thank you so much. Then she sent me, look at this beautiful trim with the little sequins in the center. Ah, oh, is that cute? Thank you, Laura. I love this. Never seen it before. But she goes to the antique malls. Uh, I mean, she has an antique mall that she goes to and stuff, so maybe she found it there. And I'm in love with this. It's all little hearts. Do I have a piece of paper? I want to show you on a... Oh, okay, here. Look. Look at all the little hearts. <gasps> Is that not sweet? Ah, I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you so much. And this one, I couldn't get over at all. This is super wide, and it's a crochet lace. I have to show it to you in two parts. You see how wide it is? Gosh, that's beautiful. And she sent me a big chunk. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. And then another crochet lace. Look at that. How pretty. Oh, I'm in love. Thank you so, so much, Laura. I mean, I was like, what? She sent me something from Laura. Oh, my gosh. So I'm super, super happy. And then I wanted to show you a few little projects I've been up to. Okay, first of all, over the past few months, I've been buying a dye here and there. And I bought me a few dyes now. Okay, and this one I'm going to show you. I'm very, look how beautiful he is. I'm very disappointed in this one. I like the size, although I would have liked it a little bit better. But this little gingerbread man creeps me out. Look at that. And all this 
comes out, I can't keep it in. And if I make a mouth myself, it's too big. Do, do you know what I'm saying? I need, oops, I need suggestions. Okay, this is not going to work. I need suggestions on what to do with him because the way he is, he creeps me out. Looking at even embossed him because it came with an embossing folder. But he creeps me out. I can't help it. So please, guys, help me out what to do. I bought the die and I don't like it. Okay. So I bought me then this stamp from Art Attack, uh, Tracy's store. So I bought this stamp and I colored them. And whatever you see white, I used acrylic paint. I colored them with regular old markers. And then I touched them up with white because I don't have like the Winca Stella or a white thing. So I used acrylic paint. So I made a bunch of these to make a little banner for my babies. But I really wanted to use the creepy one. But, I mean, I didn't know he was going to be creepy. But he is, look, look, look. And now look at this one, how cute. And I like this size better, too. But I, really, I have to do something with them because I cut out a bunch. Okay, then, I, well, I've had this star die. So I saw it on Yorley's Facebook. I don't know if I saw a video or not. But anyway, all you do is, uh, you know, your flat stars. And you just crease them down the center. And then you fold them. And then you have dimensional. So I made a bunch of uh, them to make a little banner for the girls' room. I made itty-bitty ones too. Look. See? A little itty-bitty one. I mean, they're not super perfect, but, you know, they're going to be on a banner. So I did that. And then these are some of the dyes I bought over the last few months. I bought this Bambi die, and I love him, but it's a lot of work because you got to cut out all these extra little pieces. And then you have to glue them on. And I don't have the sticker thingy. So I think next time, I'm just, the dots was the hardest, of course, to glue so I think next time I'm just going to uh, paint the dots on. That was my tippy suggestion. But I did cut everything out. And I bought this uh, Christmas tree die, which comes in pieces. And I layered it in different, um, in two different greens. I've had this die, the Rosette, but I didn't have the Choi. I bought the Choi a while back. I bought. I just bought it from Art Attack also. And the fence die I bought, which I wanted the little one. I didn't realize it was going to be the big one. But that's okay, because I made a little hanger thingy now for the girls, and I can use the big one for other projects. But I'm still going to have to go back and find me a little one. So I did this. And then, this morning, I woke up at 5 and couldn't go back to sleep. So, uh, I come in my studio and watch some YouTube. And the first video I saw was uh, Miss Garden Grove Annie's. And she had a tutorial up about a crocheted flower. And I'm very noisy when I get up and craft. So it was too early to wake my husband up. So I had to find a quiet craft. So I did the flowers right away. And these are it. She called some six petal flowers with pom poms. And she gives a great tutorial. It's very, very easy to make. And I made like five pink ones and five blue ones. You see? Uh, but they're a little big, so I'm thinking more of uh, a hat or a scarf to pin it on and maybe put a cute bottle cap or a bling in the center because they're a little big, as you see. And I think that's it. Yep. And I want to thank you again, Laura, for my beautiful little rag. I, am a, I adore it. I adore it. And this tag is going on my Christmas tree too. And the one the one in the living room because the one in here is too small. I love this tag with the big chunky gold glitter. So festive and pretty. 
So thank you so, so, so much, Laura. I, I, I love it. I'm just, I saw the package in your name and I go, oh my God, I have something from Laura. I can't believe it. I admire her and, and Amador and, and uh, uh, Elise. Oh my God, they make the cutest, the cutest uh, stuff. Okay, so I wanted to thank you and I want to wish you a good night. Have a great weekend. God bless everybody. Thanks for watching, and be good and kind to each other, okay? Bye-bye.